short uh, calls shortly. But before we do that, I just want to cross over to my colleague Emmanuel Tho, who will be breaking down what we should expect in the coming week in terms of those political developments that are set to play out. One of them, too, I understand, happens to touch on the Kisi deputy governor who was impeached. Senate is set to converse that particular case on plenary. What more do you have for us, though? Well, thank you very much, Jesse. And of course, as you have already rightly put it, uh, we expect a lot of activities that will be forming the part and uh, parcel of what the, we expect in the political landscape this week. One of them, as we just have, as you've already mentioned, is the AU Special Executive Council meeting that is expected to make a determination on that uh, proposal to have the next chairperson of the AUC to be a woman, uh, which will be tabled on the 15th, which is Friday, uh, when the Executive Council meeting sits. It is uh, the Executive Council is the, is, the, is, the, is composed of foreign affairs ministers uh, from the AU member states, and uh, that means a Prime Minister or Prime Cabinet Secretary, rather, uh, Musalim Devar will be uh, heading there because he's in charge of our diaspora and foreign affairs docket. So that will be part of the discussions this week. Something else that will be taking place this week is the Kisi Deputy Governor impeachment, where Kisi Deputy Governor Dr. Robert Monda uh, will be defending himself on the floor of the Senate on Wednesday and Thursday uh, because he's facing some charges uh, involving uh, abuse of office, crimes under national laws, gross misconduct, gross violation of the Constitution, and so many others that uh, were brought forward by uh, the MCAs who impeached him, I think, uh, almost uh, two, uh, a week and, and a half ago, and that will be forming that part. Something else that will be happening is President William Ruto will be meeting uh, Kenya Kwanzaa MCAs at State House Nairobi. This is a meeting uh, that has been long overdue. Some of those MCAs had complained during uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa meeting that happened last year, saying that they've never gotten a chance to speak to the president and table their issues. And so top of the agenda will be the World Development Fund that they've been working for and, and, and asking the president to institutionalize it. And this is part of the National Dialogue Committee report, as we had already mentioned uh, in, uh, in, our, in, in our other report and also party elections that will be coming in april will be part and parcel of that discussion and uh, something that is also critical this week is the timelines uh, for the joint committee of the national assembly's justice and legal affairs uh, jlac and as well as that team uh, from senate which is the senate standing committee on justice legal affairs and human rights will have less than 40 days to finalize their nine bills given to them and report back to the house remember uh, they were supposed to have 45 days to deal with those nine bills, some of which are constitutional amendment bills uh, that will be part and parcel of that report. If passed, there are so many things that will change. And so that will be very critical this week, Jesse. Okay, Tor, thanks for that update. Definitely a busy week lying ahead. And of course, the political desk right here will keep us abreast of